She is one of the most incredible records of achievement and accomplishment. And now her name will rightly be added to the Hall of Fame for her lasting contribution to the Sydney drag industry. It is my absolute pleasure to welcome to the stage the 2024 inductee to the Diva Hall of Fame, my friend, the super duper Dame Minnie Cooper! Should we roll? No, I think we're on. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome to the stage super duper Minnie Cooper. Ahoy! Hello, cross dressers! Um, can we just talk about the elephant in the room, Tora Hyman? So first of all, I'd like to thank the Diva Committee for this incredible honour. Also, Colleen Windsor for the wonderful um, article you wrote in the Sydney Star Observer. What you wrote about me, uh, I, from your perspective, was truly humbling. 20 years ago in 2004, I won Diva Rising Star. Now, this might be a little controversial, what I'm about to say right now, right at this moment. That was back in the day before the internet. <laughs> and you would physically have to go out and vote and campaign. Beyonce G-Spot also wanted Rising Star that year. So she pulled down the vote for mini poster and drove over it with her tricycle. <laughs> Unfortunately, it wasn't her year. <laughs> May she rest in peace. Dead, you know. <laughs> oh, she'd laugh at that. She was a cunt. She would. Then 10 years later, 2014, I would host my first Divas here at the Roundhouse. It was the first time I ever sang and dragged doing a parody, parody to Anything Goes with 20 tappers dedicated to drag queens past and present. Even if you're a hater, you've got to admit it, it was fucking fabulous. <laughs> oh, it was spectacular. I've always been a big believer in respecting where you come from. Three years ago, Carlotta calls me and says... Oh, thank you for the dedication, Minnie. I said, Carlotta, that was seven years ago. God bless. Give it up for Carlotta. Happy birthday to Carlotta. I'd sing you happy birthday, but we're running out of fucking time. <laughs> now, 20 years later, here I am getting this incredible honour. It only took me 20 years to get in the Hall of Fame. I find it quite poetic, I do. Uh, when Sheila called me to say that the Diva Awards would like to induct me into the Hall of Fame, I've said I've received a lot of awards over the years, but this actually feels like winning. Sometimes I feel overrated, but not tonight. <laughs> oh, that one landed, didn't it? <laughs> Even though I started drag professionally in 2003, my relationship with the community started long before then. Uh, a lot of you might not know, I was a professional male dancer, well, Chelsea told you that, bitch. Uh, and I worked in musicals like Chicago and Singing in the Rain. But it was in between jobs that drag in the community has always been a constant part of my life. I moved out of the little western suburbs of Granville. There was a Granville train disaster, and then there was me! In 1991, I had my first job as a male dancer at Australia's Wonderland. What a faggot. Um, <laughs> It's where I would meet my first boyfriend, William Forsyth. William was a choreographer of the show. Oh, yeah, he went to the top, straight to the top. And he also danced on the drag scene and choreographed drag shows and all those incredible Mardi Gras shows during the 90s. I don't think we'll ever see the likes of that again. My first experience with drag and trans women was in 1992. When I was 19, it was the opening show, This Is It. It was a Mardi Gras show and I was assisting William with legends such as Rose Leaf, Caroline Clark and Robin Lee. Robin Lee was the first trans woman I ever saw. She looked like Anne Margaret, so glamorous. I loved her, I was obsessed. Portia Turbo was the least. The others were fucking furious <laughs> because Portia hadn't been doing drag that long. She only got it because she was working in the Mardi Gras workshop. But you know what? They got the drag queens at the back. Back, they got shit costumes and poor, Portia was a star. Good on your Portia. <laughs> All I can say, at first I was afraid 
I was petrified. But I can honestly say I was inspired and in awe. This really was the beginning of my love of drag. I learned so much from William, especially about work ethic and how to get the best out of anyone, no matter what skill set. William also did drag on occasion. He would fill in for Tallulah Bright when she was unwell. William's name was Smash Hit, but Mitzi used to call him Smash Shit. In 1996, I started to choreograph shows for Mitzi, my first one being Tu Wong Fu at the Newtown Hotel. And it starred Caroline Clark, Kieran St. James, and it won amazing awards with their Kylie show, It's Switch Bitches, and one of the best drag shows the scene has ever seen, The Wizard of Oz. It was incredible. It was an honour to work with Mitzi. I'm so grateful to her because, in, because of her incredible creativity, I was, get, was able to learn to take risks and develop mine. It was a great loss when Mitzi left Sydney. We still have an amazing friendship to this day. I started dabbling in cross-dressing and drag socially in around 1997, my first Diva Awards 2001. 2003, I'd been doing some choreography for Chelsea Bunn and filling in for her in what was called the worst drag show in Sydney, Drats. Yeah, you saw it, Charisma, you know, it was shit. Uh, it was a Thursday afternoon, uh, Chelsea calls me and she goes, Oh, Minnie, uh, would you come and work with me at the King's Cross Hotel? Uh, come down to the shop and I'll teach you ring, ring. Uh, I said, why not? I'm in, I'm in between jobs and 21 years later, I'm still in between jobs. <laughs> It's here Minnie Cooper was officially born. Little did I know when I said yes to her, this would be the career. I've done so many wonderful things, had so many great opportunities. I love drag, but I never dreamed I'd be standing here 21 years later. Mm. Um, I'm glad, though, I got to meet Cher, travel to Paris, America. Thank you so much, Chelsea Bunn. I'm forever grateful for the stepping stone in my life and a career even I'm jealous of. I also know if I ever need anyone and I'm in trouble, you would be the first person there to help me. Give it up for the bun. You've got to love the bun. Uh, now my thank yous. I'd like to thank the venues, Arc Sydney, Midnight Shift, Barrister Hotel, Newtown Hotel, the Imperial Hotel and the Stonewall Hotel. I love you too. I don't know who the fuck you are. but uh, Especially managers, Michael Slaven, Peter Oxburn, Paul Finnegan, Roger Z, Paul Flynn, Candy Box for your constant support. Also Mardi Gras, Gra Gary Leeson, Brad Wright, Penny Clifford, 2008, I Am I Am was a highlight for me. And Stuart Doherty, who's here tonight? Give it up for Stuart Doherty. The incredible flash mobs with Lewis Oswell and Dan Murphy. Dan Murphy, keep those bloody club worldways coming. Over the last 32 years, I've probably worked with every fucking drag queen. The list is long, but some, in some ways, these queens have helped me and supported me in some way. You don't have longevity without it. Uh, so here we go. It's a bit of a roll call. Here we go. Chelsea Bunn, Mitzi McIntosh, Charisma Bell, Vanity. You know, she said I was unwatchable when she first watched me, but then she called me and said she wouldn't miss tonight for the world. Give it up. Tora Hyman, dog. Uh, I'm doing it for the, so the kids like me. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Amelia Airhead, Trudy Valentine, I've got to share a bit of story here. Trudy gave me my first job at Stonewall. Uh, and we used to sit at the D of the, you know, the after party, you love it. You sit around, you throw shade at people, you know that thing. Reading is fundamental. So, we're sitting there, munted, you know, we used to take ecstasy back then. And we're sitting there, and, she, and Trudy goes, you know, Minnie, a lot of people say Chelsea's got no style when she dances. She does. It's just bad. <laughs> uh, testicle, Ashley Swift, Dallas Dallas Force, David, Dakota Secret, Hannah Condor, Claire DeLune, Trevor Ashley, Penny Tration, Fran Japani, Coco Jumbo. You know, I know you lost your mum just recently, but she gave birth to the, one of the most incredible human beings. And I am so grateful to you, Coco Jumbo. Like, I love you so much. Uh, Yuri Guy, etc., etc., and also Anthony Gananja and Ashley Evans. You know who they are? They're Square Division. They used to dance behind me for 150 bucks. And not 95 bucks, 150 bucks. Just saying. Topical. You've got to keep it topical. I'm My final biggest thank you goes to Kirsten Damned. 
in my opinion, you are the unsung hero of the drag scene. Without your hard work and creativity, my drag would not be at the level it is. And drag wouldn't be as fabulous. You always have a star in my heart. Always. Uh, by, t by 2020, I can honestly say I started to suffer a bit of burnout. Working at a high level, cracks begin to show. The pandemic happened and it affected us all in some way. I also lost my uncle, who was like a father to me. And yes, drag race. I ticked a box. I think all the girls who've done the show would say, no matter how prepared you are, nothing can. Hannah, Coco, etc. and I have discussed our experience, even though traumatic for us all in different ways, I think they would all agree we've come out of the experience better versions of ourselves. So we have all won in that respect. <laughs> to all you drag race trolls out there, you almost broke me and I thought I lost my passion for drag and performing. Something prior to that that had given me so much joy. I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you. I learned so much about myself. I would rather be disliked for who I truly am than be adored. Oh, do you want me to stop? No. Oh, there's people talking. You know, it's probably Pamara. <laughs> <laughs> Just for the nostalgia. <laughs> okay, I've got to start again because, you know, say sorry, Pamara. <laughs> okay, sorry. I would rather be disliked for who I truly am than be adored for someone who I am not. Loved based on a lie is of no worth. I'd rather be rejected for being my true self than embrace for the... Can you shut up over there? You're really distracting me. Uh, for the false side of me. I can't change who I am to suit other people, but what you see is what you get. I've done things I'm not proud of, and I've made plenty of poor decisions, but I will always remain true to myself. Even though I don't like some of the things I've done, in the moment it felt like the right thing to do. A wise friend of mine, Vanity, said, if we were judged by the worst parts of ourselves, we'd never leave our house. You don't have a 34 career like mine if you don't show generosity, kindness and hard work. Sorry, I'm on. I believe everything happens for a reason, good and bad. I have my faults. I own that and I work on them. But I also have good qualities. No wonder I won Bitch of the Year telling Cindy Viper her career was in the toilet and Miss Congeniality in the same year. I did. And the, it's the Gemini in me. I love drag has given me a place to entertain. I just received a message the other day saying, for my performance, it gave them joy. And that's what, what my aim is, is to give people joy. There, nothing gives me more satisfaction than watching an audience having fun. It's not really winning an award for me. It's watching the audience have an experience. It truly is. But honestly, teaching is where I get my most satisfaction giving a baby drag a chance, helping people achieve something they never thought they couldn't. Teaching can be a thankless job sometimes, but it's moments like this that is worth it. And at my end of my school musical last year, one student asked to speak to me. He said, thank you, Aaron, that's my name. I never felt like I fitted in anywhere I feel like I do. He said, thank you. I have so many stories like that. What's more gratifying than that? <laughs> so I really love it. Once again, I'd like to thank the Diva Committee for this honour. And it's also helped me put a lot into perspective. Thank you, and I love drag, and I love that I get paid for it. Where would the drag scene be with people like Carlotta, Simone Troy, Polly Petrie, Morboat, Missy McIntosh, Chelsea Bunn, Vanity, Tora Hyman, uh, who else is there? <laughs> Charisma Bell, Hannah Cotter, Coco Jumbo and David and many, many more. And of course, let's not forget me. Please now refer to me as Dame Suba Duba Mini Kuba. In the words of Beverly Kills, Minnie Cooper is a fucking legend! <laughs> <laughs>